And talking about Crime Stoppers, tonight East Tennessee Valley Crime Stoppers is looking for a van that was stolen late last week, but it's not just any van. Right. We are told that it is a family van that helped get a 14-year-old named Mesa Millsaps, who has cerebral palsy, to and from his favorite place, Tennessee Smoky Games. Six on your side reporter Veronica Obey spoke with the family tonight, joins us now live in the studio with me, Veronica. Yeah, hey there, Don. It's a tough loss for the family, but Mason is feeling the effects the most. Not only is he unable to see the Smokies from their favorite seats, he also had an item inside that van that meant the world to him. We locked it up, left it, came back the next day with the thermostat, and there was no car there to fix. Carrie, her husband Wesley, and their son Mason were leaving their 14 year old's favorite place the Tennessee Smokies Stadium. It was just after the game when their van, that looks like this one, overheated. So they left it on the side of the road, planning to come back and fix it the next day, but. When we drove by, we didn't see the van. It was stolen. East Tennessee Valley Crime Stopper is reporting that the 2006 Chrysler Town and Country was last seen on I-40 West and Strawberry Plains Pike. But that wasn't the only item taken. Inside the van was Mason's special needs stroller as he has cerebral palsy. I was just heartbroken, oh. devastated, and I thought, well, what do we do now? Because that's our main vehicle. That's our family vehicle. As for Mason, there was something else inside that he misses the most. A glove given to him by former Tennessee Smokey David Berg. The black glove is, uh, you know, a special glove. It's just irreplaceable. Baseball makes him happier than anything. It's a sport and team that loves Mason back, which is why the loss of the glove is hard to accept. But just like fans, the community is stepping up to the plate to help Mason and his family as they've created a GoFundMe. Thank you to uh, not only our local community, um, but the, you know, the greater community and also our baseball community. You have really reached out. You've really helped us and really kept our, um, our spirits as high as they possibly can be. And as I mentioned there, the community has created that GoFundMe. It's to help them get a new van. And if you'd like to help, we'll have that information over on our website. That's at WATE.com. Don.